everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really fun um, star gift box, five side star. Um, this one has kind of evolved from just me working with my um, this X cut cutting system. And also I was requested um, by a lovely lady called Linda to, she sent me um, this here and um, I was looking at it and I had a look on YouTube and there are already actually four, five, maybe six tutorials, good tutorials showing you how to make this star um, gift box. So I try to keep my tutorials quite unique and different. Um, so I hope Linda that you like this version. So this is my one that I've come up with here and this is with curved sides. Now the top here, it just lifts up and you've got a little bit here just to pull out just like a pillow box closure and inside there is so much room to fill that with whatever you want um, now this will be perfect for Christmas and I plan on sharing more of the sizes with you because um, these will look lovely as hanging decorations on the tree and there's a bigger version that I'm working on to go under the tree so really really fun um, the papers i'm using are these ones here which is the simply creative stargazer and um i thought it's the star shape it needs that kind of um you know uh this theme was it universe <laughs> stars planets that kind of thing um and i also have all of these um dovecraft st uh, stamps and I'm using this one today, which is what's on here. And it says, friends are like stars. You can't always see them, but they are always there. And I thought that's perfect for this galaxy print um, one. And then there is also this one here. I love you to the moon and back again. And that's another great stamp that could be used with this, with these papers or any kind of, um, you know, star universe galaxy theme. But I'm using today these ones, which is again from the same pack and it's just covered in stars. Now I've already done both of them because this is just way too busy to um, score and show you um, on camera. So I'm gonna be showing you using the template and it's just a plain piece of card. So it's much, much easier for you to see. So let's just pop all this to one side. Um, so I've already got my sentiment ready there. So this is my template and I'm gonna show you how I get this. Um, by using this card here because it'd be much easier for you to see. So you need to go and um, cut out two eight um, inch circles or 20 centimetre um, circles. So I've done this in inches and in centimetres. Um, and to do that with a compass, you just set your compass at, oh, at four inches. Okay, so move that out of the way there. So I'm just popping the the little point here on the four and the pencil should be on the zero and then you grab your paper that you're using and again this is a crap compass but I seem to be using them more um, lately so I do need to get a better one just bring it around and you just want that to join up creating your circle there okay um, then we need to cut that one out so I'm just going to go so you need to do two of these so what you can do is just cut one out and then trace around this one on your um, second piece okay so there's my circle there very rough but there you go now I cannot stress enough you need to make sure that this is eight inches or 20 centimeters so fold it in half because this is your template so you need to do this template first Otherwise, you know, you run the risk of ruining your lovely paper. So just, again, this is just something I don't particularly like. So just fold it in half and in half again like so. So you've got it into quarters. And then with your ruler, just run it along there. And I can see that that's exactly eight inches. And again, I've got eight inches there as well. So now I would take that and put it on my, where is it? My lovely paper here and then draw around it properly. Once you've done this with the template um, and you've got your be working now with your proper paper or cardstock that you're using, your, your, your nice stuff, your pattern, what you want to do is, now you can use a compass or you can use the ruler, it's entirely up to you. 
probably for more precision I would use the compass um, but basically what you want to do now and this is to get the five sides and I've racked my brain I've done all the hard work for you so this is it's easy now for you guys but again with your point you want to sit it at four and five eighths of an inch or in centimeters that was um, it would be 12 centimeters that you would set your compass at 12 centimeters or four and five eighths of an inch so I'm just lining up and you need to be again exact with this if you're a little bit out it isn't gonna make too much of a difference but I mean a little <laughs> like a millimeter or something so yeah I this is um, you need to be uh, quite precise okay what you want to do now is with a pencil is just mark anywhere on the edge of that circle anywhere it doesn't matter with the point of the compass you want to put that on that mark and then go around and you want to mark again where that compass lays which would be that distance now will be four and five eighths of an inch or 12 centimeters if you want to then get your ruler and just check so i can see there that is bang on and if i turn it around it is 12 as well all right so then well, it's just about 12 because then they don't line up exactly but if you're using centimeters then yours will be exact and if you're using inches it will be exact then again go to that next point and do another pencil mark and so on I don't need to keep checking with my ruler and again and now you will have one two three four five pencil marks they are your five points of your circle so now we can grab my favorite which is my circle any size circle you have will work for this you just might have a slightly um, a uh, either deeper or shallower um, box so here this is quite a deep one but yours just might be um, not so deep <laughs> so again it doesn't matter because what you're going to do will be the same so with my stylus sorry i'm looking around because i've been working on a few projects today and i have got them all kind of laid out ready to record so where is my stylus okay let's use this one here so with this you want to put it on the outside of your circle and then you want to bring it in until one side meets up with one pencil mark and another side of the circle meets up with another pencil mark and again this is all about precision you want to make sure so put your stylus on one of the pencils first and then push the circle or whatever it is you're using up to it and then score right around that curve and you want to meet it right up with that other pencil mark so if I just bring it up there so there's the one pencil and it goes right the way around to that one and then the next one like so I mean if you want to do all this on your template first and then what you can even do is lie this template over the top and you could even mark these little markers here as well if you didn't want to mark your paper at all but as long as you're using pencil you can rub it out and then again you just want to do that so that you create five of these curved shapes okay so you can see now your main one will not have this cross through this is just the template that I'm showing you but you can see now we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, then what you want to do is burnish all of these. So you just want to bring them up and just kind of pinch them, move them into place so they start to lift. And they should come up very easily if they don't go back in and just go over your um, score lines. And then when you bring them together, just pinch each of the tips there, just the very ends and that will just help it kind of hold that shape. Okay, so you can see now. And then when you bring them all in, like so, I flip this over, <laughs> you can see there, there is your star. Okay, so I'm now gonna bring in the two of my real pieces that I'm using, which I've already done. So you will have now two pieces like this. Then what you wanna do, so I'm gonna flip it over, Decide whether you may have made one and it's, you thought oh, it doesn't quite work, it's, it's not joined up or it's, it's, a, it's not as clean. Have that as your base. So I'm going to have this one here as my base and you'll have your nicest one, the one that you think you've got the nicest curves and they meet up and everything, have that as your top. So with that in mind, the base one, um, sorry, the top one, you want to add glue inside one of these, these like kind of... Um, I don't know what shape you would call that but 
so this is it here you want to run your glue inside but don't go right up leave about half an inch so you'll run the glue like that okay not right up to the score line because they will not join completely and if they do come down further you don't want the glue going all over so you want to go right to the very tip to the end to end of each one go right to the very edge but I just advise don't go right up into that curve okay so this is the lid so it's going over the base so then what you want to do is sit your base over the top and all you want to focus on is getting your points to line up so there's the point of that one joining with the one below and then this one with that one and you can see now when I stick that down it doesn't quite join and that's fine I'll just bring that all the way around so they, they won't meet up that's not what you're aiming for you want to get your points matched up so again I'll bring in the template this was the piece that I put the glue on it's going over this piece but you're joining making sure that that point lines up perfectly with the bottom point and you can see there what I mean how it doesn't meet there that's fine that's how it will be so that's that one done I'm just going to make sure that's really stuck and you want to be using wet glue for this as well um, don't don't use your tear tape because you need to make sure that you're getting it perfect like so so again the right hand side is my base which is sat over the top of the lid so now I'm going to go around to the next one so this that's over the top this piece is over this one so now I'm going to put glue in this one here so I'm going to flip it over and again I don't want to go right up to the edge but I want to go from end to end and like so and then this one is going to go over the top so it'll be easier for you to see now joining your end to end okay and just pinch that piece now and you get a really nice sharp you can see now they're all joining up so it leads me on to the next one so now this one again it's always the one underneath pop your glue again I'm never going right up to the very um, to the score line there but always to the edge here and again bring those ones in make sure the ends are married and then the rest will stick in okay, again and then this will be the last one you're only going to stick one um, oh that one's just popped on down one two three you're only sticking four okay when you stick this one down pop your hand in because this will be your opening this is your top one and then you can just make sure again just joining up all of those points okay sorry I had to take my ring off because I couldn't get my hand in so these big rings are nice but they don't always work so that's the kind of shape you will have and you'll have these curves here now what you want to do is um, with your um, if you've got a circle punch I, I guess it would be better but a square is fine but this piece is going to go in like so and it's hard to get your finger in so you just want to just like you would with a pillow box just pop that in about halfway you can see there and just cut that bit out just so you're giving yourself half you to see that shape there that I've just cut in and it just means now when I fold that in close that one down on top pinch the edges and there is your bag your box even so I'm a little bit off because my circle wasn't exactly eight inches to start with and that's what it will do it will just create a slightly odd shaped one so you need to make sure that it's eight so do that template first because um, I measured I didn't do the template first I went into this with that measurement and I was slightly out but it still works it's still going to be okay that is perfect that one is exact so there you have a wonderful I just absolutely love these so now I'm just going to decorate so where my top is which is this one here I'm going to have my sentiment again with that one and I'm going to pop my um, which way I'm going to do it that way which is like the other one there we go and then I've got my hot glue and I'm going to put a little splodge just on the top there 
just to attach that fabric ribbon. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> they are just adorable. So even, you know, if you are a little bit off with your measurements, once you decorate them, I think they look fantastic. And I can imagine, sorry, I'm just picking glue off my hand. Um, I can imagine them all in a basket of some party or just, I love them, absolutely love them. So if you want to make loads, um, I would suggest you can do the shapes, you can do all the scoring and then sandwich them together as circles and leave them until you need them. And then all you've got to do is burnish the curves into them and stick them together like we have. But how adorable are they? So there you have it. So I will be doing more. I've got lots of ideas and I have more shapes to show you as well. Lots of maths was involved with this one to get that measurement. Um, so I hope you appreciate it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.